Hello my friends, it's Jennifer from Crystal and Light. I am so happy to see you. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but was inspired to do one right now. So I um, want to share with you some ideas and thoughts and stones actually about grounding and being in your body. Um, I was recently at a gem show over the weekend and purchased a lot of new crystals and stones. And as I've been going through them, the last couple days pricing them, realized, oh, like three-fourths of these are all grounding and really earthy, deep stones. Like Ocean Jasper, which is grounding and heart. Big old chunks of hematite. Mokies, which I've never had before, or at least for a long time. Septarian. Um, Black Shiva Lingams, which these are old, but I've been, not old, I just got them in Tucson, but I've been pricing them. Uh, big, huge chunks of Labradorite. Look at the color on that. Anyways, as I've been going through them and realizing that they are grounding stones, it's been occurring to me, oh, right, it's because that's what we need right now. Spring has sprung most places. If you're in the southern hemisphere, not so much. You're going into winter. But here in the Midwest, we've had a very early spring, probably a month early. And it's all about rebirth, growing new things, new ideas, birthing. And that's all happening. That's all feeling really great. There's some new things popping for a lot of people. But at the same time, we need to be reminded to stay grounded and focused in our bodies. Our physical vessels are here for a reason. We're not here to be airy-fairy and to be meditating and out in the ethers all the time. We are meant to be in these physical meat suits, as somebody called it, um, living our lives and doing what we're here to do. Um, meditation is great. Being airy-fairy out there in the ethers is great for a little bit. But most of the time, you got to live your life. Be here. Be grounded. Be focused. And the way you are going to ascend um, and evolve and transform your life and be more connected to spirit and have more consciousness of the other side and other realms and other dimensions and what's going on is through your physical body. So the more you can take care of your physical body, moving it, feeding it good food, doing yoga, walking, whatever feeds you, running, doing triathlons, um, whatever feeds your physical body is really going to help the process. I personally have been feeling the need the last couple days just to get moving. I've had so much energy coming in that I almost get like these... Um, not panic attacks, but my heart is racing and I really have to go move my body. So I either do yoga if I have time or I go on a quick walk, even if it's just a block or two or five or whatever. But I really have needed to move my body. So when I do that, it helps me calm down, help me, helps me focus and really feel more connected to the universe and to the earth and to what's going on. The same with these stones. They're not going to make you grounded. Sure, rocks are heavy and they're going to make you feel like you're physically in your body, but they're just a reminder to you to stay grounded and stay focused in your body. And they can really help move some energy and bring in some new things. Um, at the same time, it's also going to be important not only to stay grounded, but stay grounded within your heart. And um, I have some new kyanite with ruby spheres and pieces as well. Um, and it's just been one of my favorite stones lately because it really helps me stay grounded and here, but also centered in my heart. Thus the rose quartz I'm wearing also. Um, so... Those are great stones to work with and pick up if you need it. Um, and obviously I have lots of them, but I'm not a sales pitch. You can call me if you want to, but go get them wherever you can. Um, our physical bodies are the way we are moving through things. So you're also going to have, if you have lots of physical pains, issues going on, digestion, other stuff, that's totally normal right now. So 
you don't need to run to the doctor unless it really is concerning then obviously go to the doctor um, doing your emotional work beyond those or not beyond addressing those physical things in an emotional way is how you're gonna clear those emotional and physical blocks so and I can help with that I know other practitioners that can help with that so just I guess the theme that's popping into my head right now is to keep the energy moving don't stay stagnant don't stay stuck and bring in whatever new sources or resources that you need to help do that in whatever form that is so I guess that's about all I want to say right now so many blessings thank you so much I hope that all makes sense and if it doesn't, feel free to shoot me an email, find me on Facebook or my website, crystallinelight.com, facebook.com slash crystallinelight. I'm all over the place and you know how to find me. So many blessings and I will hopefully see you sooner than later again. Thanks. Bye. Have a great day.